Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. We are in the middle of video lecture discussing about the application development for Android. This lecture will be focusing on the Android UI control. One of the most important the UI controls that is the radio group. Now what is a radio group? If you can see that if, if I'm having a radio button and I know that out of the radio buttons available, I can choose only one of them. Like, do you agree to the, to the terms and conditions? So either you agree or you disagree. So what's your gender? It's male or female. Either you are male or you are female, right? So in, in such cases, when we need that there should be only one of the radio buttons selected, at that point in time, we have a radio group. We get all the buttons into a radio group so that we can easily find out which of these buttons is by default or is the user has selected which of these buttons. So a radio group is a class which is used to set, which is used for the set of the radio buttons. Now, let's look at the attributes for the radio button. So the very first being the checked button. The best advantage or the best part for using a radio button is that you can actually find out which of the button in the group is clicked using the method or using the attribute that is check button. This check button will return to you that which of the element is by default checked in nature. After this, we are having a background. This is, this is a drawable that is used as a background for the radio group. Then we have the ID. By ID, we mean the name for the view. Then we have the on click. As uh, similar to other on clicks, this, is, this also invokes the views context to invoke the uh, on click whenever the view is clicked. And then is the visibility. If I want that the entire radio group should is should be invisible or it, if I want to change the visibility property for the entire group, I can change this and it would impact on all the radio buttons that are available in that particular group. So now let's see how do we actually make up a radio group. So I open up my Android Studio, uh, I create a new application and I name the application. After this, I come to my activity underscore main.xml, I include the radio group in it. After this, I come to the main activity dot Java and add an event which would be working on the click of the button to capture the radio group or to capture the radio uh, which radio group or which button of the radio group has been clicked. I run the application on my emulator and see the result. So now let's look that how can actually we make up a radio group. So this is my activity underscore main.xml. Here I take up a radio group and in the radio group I can have any number of radio buttons that I want and I end the group. We can have the by default properties like you know the layout height, the layout width and the, since it was in a relative layout so we are having the attributes for relative layout and so on. So after this radio group we have found this radio group would be having a ID uh, which would be the main property for this radio group and we would be able to identify the radio group based on its ID. So let's see how do we identify a radio group based on the ID of the group and how can we find which button is selected among the available button. So here's my radio group. In this group, I make up the object of the radio group in the first place. I name the object as radio six group. After this one, I make the object of the radio button and I name it as radio six button. This is invoked on the click of a button that is named as a button display. So the user comes in, he clicks on the button, uh, the on click methods gets, invo gets invoked or it gets called. Also before this, what we have done is we have identified the radio group using the find view by ID method in which we have find out the ID of the group that is r.id.radio group and I have saved that group in my radio sex group. Now whenever the user clicks the button, on click of the button, the flow comes to the on click method and in the on click method, I perform the following operation. What I do using the function get check radio button ID. This function is a function available in the radio group. Be like what we can do is if you if you're having a group, we find that which of the button in this group has been checked. If there's a button that has been checked, I get the ID of that particular button and I save it in the selected ID. Selected ID is the integer. If you remember, when we are calling the find view by ID method, we have to always pass in teacher. Now what we do is, when we call the find view by ID method, in spite of giving the exact path of the button, of the, of the radio button like r.id.radio button, I simply pass the selected ID. 
if you remember this selected id is is the id of that button that has been clicked how we have been able to click this button from here using this function we are getting the which uh, which button has been clicked in the group and we save that id in the selected id we pass that id in the find view by id and we save it in the radio 6 button now i use a toast and i get the text of the radio 6 button and i print it to the user saying that you have selected this so to explain it again to you i have made the objects of the radio button the radio group and the button on click of a button i am activating an on click method before that i am initializing the radio group as r.id.radio group and whenever the user clicks i first find that which of the button in the group has been clicked i save the id of that radio button into a selected button then i pass the selected button id into the find view id type plus that id to a radio button and save it in the radio sex button and in my toast i simply pass radio sex button dot get text allowing me to actually uh, show the text of the button that has been clicked so guys that was all about the radio button from our side now let's have a quick practical demo wherein we will be seeing how our radio button actually works so guys uh, welcome back again uh, as you've already been through the radio button in the previous lecture and in this lecture we have seen how does the radio group looks like and why do we have a radio group what are the advantages of having a radio group now, so now let's have a practical demo in which we will be seeing the components of a radio group, how do we add a button to a radio group and how do we find that which button is selected and such things in detail. So let's get started. I request you to kindly fire up your Android Studio and open the radio group demo project. In this project, in the layout file, go to the activity underscore main dot XML file. So in the main.xml file, you would be finding two radio buttons that is a male and a female. It would be under a radio group. Now, we simply drag and drop the radio group from here and in the radio group we can add more radio buttons like we want say I want to have a no button I can add it over here so this now radio group is having three buttons so in this way we can have some you know some group which can have any number of buttons or radio buttons in it we always use radio group because it's easier in a radio group to identify that which of button is selected making it easier for us to code it so let's go to the te uh, text editor for the XML and see what are with the properties for the radio group so this is my radio group the layout height and the width are normal you know we're focusing on how do we actually would be using it see if you can see that we are having this radio group which is having two radio button radio button one and radio button 2. The properties are similar as we have discussed in the radio buttons. The only property that is mattering is both of these radio buttons are checked false in nature. It means that none of the radio button would be checked. So now let's quickly go to our main activity dot java file and in the java file we would be seeing how do we actually would be using this group and this button to identify which of the radio button is clicked or checked. So we come up over here, we have a radio group, we made the object radio group by R group, we have a radio button, we made the object by R button, we are having a button, we have named it as button display, we have been using this R group over here, now we have tried and fetch to fetch the radio group from the XML, typecast it to radio group of Java and then would be using it over here, then is the next one in which we would be using a button the button on on click of this button we would be actually seeing the result and then on the click of this button we set an on click listener on click of this button this on click method would be called and here whatever action is there would be performed in this button whichever radio button is checked whichever radio button is checked in this group that id is returned by the get checked radio button id this id would be saved in a integer type value that is selected id and now we would be making the object of the radio button by find view by id and would be passing this id that we have fetched over here since this id can work we have we only need some integer value 
So this integer value is coming from here would be passed over here and we would be able to use this. We would be able to find a view with this ID that we would be typecasted to the radio button would be used in the R button that is a radio button of Java and this radio button the text of this radio button would be shown over here in the R button dot get text method. So let's quickly run this our application on our phones and see what's the response of the application. So guys here's the output of our application if we choose male uh, we get the toast as male if we choose female we get the toast as now let me try and choose both female is selected let me select male now it's not selecting because since it's a radio group only one of the radio button can be selected so guys this was all about the radio group from our side stay tuned as we'll be taking you through other controls